Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about exploiting the file upload vulnerability on Apache servers using the help of HD access files. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below and all the resources that I'm going to uh, uh, use or share are also going to be in the description below. So make sure to check them out. So first of all, uh, this particular vulnerability can be exploited if your website is running on an Apache web server. So the Apache server, so when you do an Nmap scan, you will be identifying Apache Tomcat server or Apache server. So then there is a good chance that this particular exploit can be uh, vulnerable. Uh, the particular uh, website can be vulnerable to that. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's discuss about what .hd access file is. So to keep it simple, it's a configuration file. So when you are uploading a file, so it is going to be written onto your server's location. So this particular HD access file is a kind of configuration uh, which specifies your Apache server for what type of files to be uploaded and what to be done once they are uploaded. So to keep it simple, that's that. And if you want to learn more about uh, what this HD access does and stuff, I'll be leaving the link for this, uh, which is from Apache. And you can go and check that out. It's a good thing. And also I'm going to demonstrate this particular attack or whatever you can call on this uh, access machine, which is available on PG practice. And also make sure to uh, use the stuff ethically so, so that you won't be causing any issues. And all the stuff that I'm going to teach are only for the educational purpose. So first of all, I'm connected to my VPN, uh, to that offsec VPN. And then uh, you can see this is the target website here. And this particular stuff runs on Apache server. So I can show you that uh, Apache HTTP server. Okay. So you can see that. Okay. Now here, this particular website has a functionality where you can upload a uh, file. So for example, if you click on this buy tickets, so here, uh, what you need to do is like, for example, if you click on buy now, okay, you can just mention your name. Okay. Uh, I'll mention my name. Okay. So some kind of access ticket and you need to upload an image so that they'll be sending you an email that your event is uh, verified or kind of that so by default what you can see here is like it's an upload an image so let's try uploading some other stuff so for example let me try with this thing you can see uh it works because the one that i uploaded is a kind of an shortcut okay uh, let's try with something others okay like for example uh you know uh, let me go with opt directory let me upload a php shell let's see whether it works or not the file extension is not allowed because there are some strong rules written within the HD access file. So what happens if you are able to upload the HD access files with your default con with some uh, your custom configuration and you can overwrite the rules that particular server is having. So for that, I'll show you a sample uh, content that you can put it in your HD access file. So for example, you can see you can write this in, uh, you can create a HD access file with this particular name. Okay, so add type. Okay, so I can add all the file types of like dot sci extension and uh, it is going to be uh, it's going to run as an application. Okay, so like it is going to be executed on the server. So this is what a HD access file is like uh, my custom HD access file is So to keep it simple. Instead of uploading an image or PHP reverse shell or whatever it is, I'm directly trying to upload a HD access file of my own configuration. So here I just use dot sci for an example, but you can use whatever it is. Okay. It can be like your name or your shortcut, or you can directly go with dot PHP because it allows that. Okay. So uh, let's do this. Okay. So I hope you got it. It's very simple. So we're directly uploading the HD access file. So. So let's go to downloads once. Okay. Let me nano this dot hd access file okay i'll just create dot hd access file so you got it so you can uh, i hope you got it so i'm trying to allow some certain type of files with the extension dot sci okay and it is going to be ran it is going to run as an application uh, with this httpd server so, so control s and control x you can see it by default because if you add dot in front of a file it is going to be as a hidden file so you need to do ls hyphen la so that you can view that dot hd access file is there here so now let's come back okay let's click on okay 
uh, let's uh, try this out let's try uploading this HD access file so I'm not saying this might be vulnerable on all Apache servers but when you're doing some CTFs and stuff so if there if you find an Apache server and which has some file upload utility you can just give it a try okay so that it won't be uh, it might be helpful for you in some situations so I'll just browse I'll go to downloads you can see uh, if you want to see you need to enable this all uh, view view all files option so make sure you do that or else you will not be able to see that okay I'm joined, going to click on purchase and you can see it surprisingly accepted the HD access file so, so so the developers who are uh, watching this video so make sure you are not allowing the uh, some other files okay so uh, other than internet ones now let's create a shell okay so I'll uh, sorry so I'll copy okay php reverse shell here so you need to use a php reverse shell. like if you go and download a php reverse shell from pen test monkey or stuff it is going to give you a linux based stuff so you need to always use a php reverse shell uh, which is uh, uh, based on your target like for example my target here is windows so it's going to be different so i'll just do code code is nothing but uh, you know a vs code here so i'll show you this particular reverse shell that I'm uh, PHP reverse shell that I'm using here is like uh, it works for both Linux uh, works for Linux Mac and Windows so it works for everything okay so you can see uh, all this stuff so if you want you can go and read them it's fine okay so you're just trying to exploit stuff at the end you can see you need to create give your uh, local host okay so for example it's my in my case it's 192.168.45.190 Okay, and the port is going to be uh, 1337 control s and it's not yet done because the configuration which we allowed is like we'll be we can only upload dot .si files there okay so i need to move this to so move php reverse shell to shell dot .si. okay so now I, now we can uh, see that okay but before that make sure you need to make sure to find out where the particular images and stuff are getting uh, uploaded to i'll show you an example here so for me i did a brute force uh, file brute force and you can see uh, all the files and all the images and stuff are going to be saved at this location because after uploading your reverse shell or something like that you need to able to uh, find out where that particular stuff is like where it's getting stored and whether you can access that or not okay or else it will be just use uh, just uh, useless okay but before that uh, let me create a listener my zone 1337 sorry you can try it on anything else okay sometimes only some might allow only some files uh, type might allow so just give it a try on all so i'm just going to upload shell.si and purchase you can see you will receive purchase because it actually accepted my file okay so now i'll go to uploads Oh shit, I think it came back. Fine. Loads and you can see shell dot size here. Let me click on that. Now you can see I have a shell. So the thing to keep it simple, uh, so we are abusing a file upload vulnerability instead of, uh, you know, if, if there is no a PH, PHP is not allowed, like instead of trying some different extension type, we are directly uploading the HDI access file, which is nothing but a configuration, which tells the server on what type of files to, uh, uh, which what type of files can be uploaded to that particular location and what type of stuff that can be done with that particular file. So. I hope you got this video simple and uh, coming to the next part uh, so like uh, this particular machine has like curb roasting and stuff so this is an active directory based machine so you can give it a try but this particular stuff that i shown you uh, like uploading the hd access file and getting access to that machine initial access to that machine is nothing but like the initial way to get into that machine so this is not yet done to that so if you have a pg practice just give it a try this is a very good machine and this is a very good learning that i've had uh, by upload like uh, like exploiting the file upload vulnerability it's very cool because i used to uh i saw a few of those challenges where i used to for example if php is not allowed i used to go with phtml php7 and sort, sort of stuff but here we directly upload a configuration file which i felt really cool so just give it a try it is going to be wonderful and thank you for watching this video till the end and i'll come i'll become i'll upload more videos like this and if you have any suggestion for the new videos and stuff, just post it in the comments or just tag me on Twitter or wherever it is. I'll be very happy to answer or uh, happy to take your suggestions. 
This is Satvik signing off. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.